for joining and third, y'all. I am perfect. I went to go get my hair done today. And boy, these braids tight, so I can't, I ain't gonna be laughing because I can't move my head. <laughs> I can't move my forehead. <laughs> she got these things so tight. It's almost like, um, you know, the people that be getting like the fillers or the Botox or whatever, you know, they face don't move. Like kind of like the Kardashians or whatever. But besides that, I'm perfect. I just need to wait. I just need to wait to be able to move my forehead again. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Okay. All right. So we going to jump. Hey, Faith. How you doing, babe? We going to jump right into this because I don't want much of a delay on the beginning of the video. So I could upload it to my, um, my YouTube channel. And after I finish, I guess if you all have any questions. Hey, Queen. Thank you. Did you do your hair yourself? No, I went and got it braided by a girlfriend of mine today. I do my um sides when I was like, I ain't even gonna do the sides because my head tends I can't even touch it. No boy, I just I just I'ma line it up tomorrow, but oh my goodness, it's tight. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about um everyone is you pushed out today. I want to talk about that because um, a lot of people uh, kind of like started following my um, TikTok page after I did this particular video on, you know, narcissistic people not existing in your physical reality. And then I just recently did one when I was standing in front of the mirror and I was showing, you know, all of my reflections lined up in the mirror saying that they all are having their, you know, own experience. And I want to talk about that today because it's really empower, empowering when you notice about yourself as being God in your physical reality. So in order to understand that uh, everyone is you pushed out, you have to understand that you or we, me, we all stem and we all are the nothingness. You are noting, no thing at all. And it's a beautiful thing to understand because in knowing that you are no thing, you realize that you are everything. You're shapeless, you're formless. So that means everything that you see, since you are no thing, everything you see is a reflection of yourself. And this is what I mean when I say everyone is you pushed out. Last week I talked about, and I did an illustration from this here. I'll do a brief little um, recap. So if you didn't see me last week, you could understand. So this here, this here darkness, that's the no thing that's behind here that we all stem from. And so in our physical reality, we all are hooked up to source energy. This little crescent is like the source. These little dots, this is like the spiritual essence of you. These little flames around you when you are in the physical reality, this is you experiencing yourself. These are, these are the, this is the ego. We can represent the ego in saying this here. And this is you in your physical reality, looking through your two eyes, thinking you are just a human, you are the nothingness, right? But you're on this journey, you're conscious of just being a person. But we're all here in a physical reality to get to this place. This is what I look at as being the Christ consciousness in this state of being. And so when you're hooked to this state of being, you're connected to the source, you charge up by the source. Right. And so you see like the crescent, you and the sorcerer, you'll have a union going on and you're not looking with your eyes anymore because you tapped into your subconscious, subconscious being tapped into superconscious. This is why in the biblical text, Jesus was saying that me and the father are one. When you see me, you see the father. Right. You're no longer looking through physical reality. You see all things as yourself. Right. You see all things through the eyes of God. That's what Jesus was doing when he was, you know, in the parable, the allegory story, while he was healing other people. He saw him healed already. He was like, Lazarus, you just sleep. Come forth, Lazarus, right? So with that in mind, Jesus understood that everyone was him pushed out. And so in understanding that, we are all in a physical reality going through this, not just you, we all are. 
So everybody in the physical reality is giving their experience back to source and source becomes greater and greater sources, God, or whatever you call it, God, the universe. So we all giving our life experiences to source, but we are just like source gods in our physical reality having a human experience right so if we're like source then the people in our physical reality are having a human experience and so <clears throat> excuse me we are a reflection of the source god the source energy because we are creators creating we're manifestors manifesting you know and we're attractors attracting but at the same time Everybody that we see outside of us is a reflection of us having a human experience. And so a lot of people on the video, when I was saying that um, narcissistic people don't exist, <laughs> and I, they were getting it confused as if I were saying that you are the, the narc, for example. But what I'm saying, what I was saying is basically you, a part of you, attract that type of person based upon your thoughts because it's your thoughts that's being projected in front of you no matter who it is no matter what you're going through in the physical reality these people came for it through thought just like most of the people here on this particular live that came and started following me after that video they asked themselves through thought why am i attracting narcs, narcs in my physical reality and then i came for it in your or your TikTok to answer your question because everyone is you pushed out. I am a part of you telling you why you attracted that person and what you need to do to evolve from that particular point in your journey. And so we have all of these realities. We all have all of these different versions. Everybody in the biblical text was really just different stages of us, you know, of stages of us being. So in our physical reality, we we're at sometimes we're Job, sometimes we, we were Ezekiel, sometimes we were Peter, sometimes we were Th Donald Thomas, and so forth and so forth. And so if everyone is you pushed out, that means you can manipulate the people in your physical reality. You don't have to experience Jesus, for example, as the one that is being crucified, as the one with thorns on his head, or the one that is um, saying, Father, why have thou forsaken me? You don't have to experience Jesus like that. You, based upon your thoughts, could experience Jesus as the resurrected one, just as the savior on a higher frequency. Just like going back to the narc, you don't have to experience that so-called narc as somebody that abused you or whatever, because keep in mind, everybody in the physical reality is not experiencing that person as ugly as you are. Only you probably are experiencing that person that way. Somebody loved that person. Somebody that person is, is being amazing with based upon that person's thought. So everyone is you pushed out. So we have these different realities, you know, so only you can create in your reality, but at the same time, other people have their little reality or their little kingdom, so to speak, that they are creating for, from and they're manipulating the energy in. But oftentimes we dip and dive into other people's realities because they called us for it, just like you called me for it. All of you called me for it through thought. And so, for example, in the in you, you go in their other in their reality to assist them through thought. Sometimes, unbeknownst to you, you just think you know it's just a coincidence that you just meeting these particular people. So let's say, just for example, the other day I was on a walking trail. I was on a walking trail and. I was doing a video and even if I'm doing a video, if I see people, my reflections in my physical reality, I, I normally speak to everybody, especially when I'm at the park, because you know, I'm in my zone with nature and the squirrels and the birds and everything. And I just say, I'm already saying hello to everything when I go to the park. Anyway, I'm on a walking trail and there was somebody, one of my reflections while I, I'm on the phone and, and they're about to pass me up. I'm, I'm sidetracked by being on the phone, but in my mind, I normally speak to everybody. But this has to be a reflection of me that had a lower frequency self-concept or thought as being maybe um, unseen, overlooked, not heard, you know, misunderstood. It Because this is how the energy works. Because 
I didn't see this particular person pass me at all until I looked back in my peripheral vision and I saw this particular person. So if this was to happen, this per in your reality, that means that means a person who had a low self concept in their reality was just walking by. You passed them in your reality and you acted according to their thoughts. I didn't speak because it was according to their thoughts. So I turned around or you turn around and you look and you're like, oh man, I didn't really mean to ignore that person. Why did I do that? Huh? I normally speak to everybody. And then I noticed that this particular person was getting in the car and leaving and it was their last lap around in the park. So I didn't even have a time, chance you know, to even say, well, I'll catch them, you know, and speak to them and acknowledge them next go round. No, because that was the part of the story that I was supposed to play based upon that person's thought. I had to be that person to not speak to them, not even acknowledge them, not see them because in their mind, that's how they believe they self to be. And so this is how we overlap in people's reality. And, um, it is based upon what they in their reality want you to do. So that's why just like for the narc, for example, everybody that passed by the narc ain't experiencing him like that. So when you learn this, it's really empowering because then you can work on your, the way that you, the beliefs that you have about other people and be able to even manipulate energy. And it's not like you are um, doing anything evil and witchcraft and voodoo, voodoo, or whatever. You're God. You are a creator. You know, God gives life, like in the biblical text, God gives life, God takes it away. There's, you know, God is the beginning and the end. So everything in your polarities, this here, different polarities of being, you know, you can manipulate the energy of. Because everybody is you pushed out. <laughs> and so like, say for example, there's somebody that, um, that you go on a job and you want to get this particular job in your mind, you could have the belief of that hiring manager having favor with you versus listening to what that doubt and Thomas inside of you that's saying, uh, everybody else says he's really hard to be, you know, to deal with or hard being on the interview panel. You know, he asked the hardest questions instead of believing all that, that there, you could think new thoughts. You can look at that person and believe what you want to believe about that person. And you see yourself having favor with your, with that person. You see yourself already getting the job with that person, that person being nice to you. And that person will conform to who you believe him to be. <laughs> and the person wouldn't think, oh, somebody must have made me do this in my head. No, the person will think it's their thought that the person is thinking that, you know what? Something about this person here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like her or him. I think this person is, is, is the best candidate for the job because you have a thought because you manipulate the energy because all of our thoughts are created. I mean, are connected. And so we are dipping in and out of different realms you know, experiencing ourselves and we could experience other people, other versions of people too, not just changing ourselves, but when we change, it allows us to see that we can manipulate the energy outside of us too. But oftentimes it's, it's, it's when we get to this here place that we really understand that because this here place is when you've connected with your subconscious mind and your subconscious way of thinking. When you're here in the physical reality, you're probably looking at me and you're saying to yourself, well, what is this lady talking about? I, 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 I know this is a narc. I know this person is mean. I know this person because you're looking through these eyes right here. Mm -hmm. You're not looking through the first eye, the all seeing eye of all wisdom and knowledge, the seat of the soul. You're not looking through that eye just yet. So this is why you're going to doubt because you're in the physical reality. And sometimes in this particular place, you have to separate yourself or get into another environment to really experience it. Because, you know, like say, for example, you're dealing with maybe somebody ugly every day and, you, and you're with them every day. Sometimes that's too much for you in physical reality. And you feel like, look, I can't change my thought right here, right now, when I'm seeing this, when I'm observing this, when this is all I know, this is a toxic situation. This is, this is, you know, this is making me feel depressed, but really and truly nothing can make you feel nothing 
want you to be accountable for your energy because then when you get over here in this way of thinking this subconscious way of thinking you realize wait hold up if i'm god and i see through the eyes of god i can love anybody wait but hold up if i'm god and i know how to manipulate energy i can make these people conform to me <laughs> making my enemies my footstool you know and so and this also ties into in the biblical text when they say he who is without sin let him cast the first stone so when you hear in this year place you ain't got no sin and i i define sin is when you are out of alignment with who you are when you carry it on that hate that um jealousy you know that envy when you when you are out or have this ease or this harmony when you're out of alignment with yourself that's the true sin so when you're here, there is no, no, no stones to cast on nobody else because you're already looking at them through the eyes of God and you're already seeing the beauty inside of them. This is why also in the biblical text, it tells you to love thy neighbor as thyself because everybody you see is yourself. It is yourself. You kill or we kill ourselves when we hate other people, when we don't look at them through the eyes of God. So that's pretty much we are killing ourselves, C-E-L-L-S. We're killing ourselves when we're not in this place of being. So here we're in the physical reality looking and we might have sickness and disease and may think other people doing this and that and a third to us. We're not being accountable for our energy. Here we know we can manipulate all energy because all is God, because all stems from the darkness. And all it is here that you see, the camera, me, you know, the people in your room, your bed, you're sitting on the chair, all of that is just energy that came from nothingness. So if that's nothingness, your nothingness, you can manipulate the nothingness that you're, you are. But you got to understand that you're the nothingness first in order to realize that you're everything. <laughs> I hope you're getting this. I'm hopeful that you all getting this here because it's really, really good. It's really, really empowering versus being just like a little soldier in the army of the Lord. Be, be, um, it's better than feeling like, well, if God doesn't do anything else for me, then he's done enough. No, 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 no. You are God. So really what you're doing is doing stuff for your own self. Really what you're doing is manipulating the energy in your own kingdom. And so... <laughs> And so it's empowering. It, 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 it makes you feel good instead of just a little, being a little G kind of God. And it makes you have fun and enjoy the journey. It makes you become accountable for your energy too. You know, they talk about, you know, healing for your trauma, but the real healing is when you know, okay, I cause this through my thoughts and my beliefs. And a belief is just nothing but me saying or, or regurgitating something over and over that I told myself over and over again until it became a law for me. So I could change my beliefs. I could believe something else whenever I get ready to. That's how, how powerful I am. That's how free I am in this physical reality. But it, it becomes really beautiful when we can become accountable for that. But everybody want to be accountable for, oh, look, I manifested this here. I manifested this house. Oh, I did that. Oh, yeah, 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 I did that. But then when we manifest something that's kind of, you know, shitty, whatever. Oh, that must have been a devil because I don't want to be accountable for that. Mm -mm. No, I didn't do that. You know, all of a sudden, you don't, it ain't you no more. You know, but God is the good and the so-called bad. God is all. God is the totality. God is both sides of the polarity. Not just one. God is the yin and the yang. You know, this so-called God and devil, this so-called black and white. If you on that stage, you got to keep on climbing too. Because God is all. <laughs> and all is God. There's one God, one faith, one baptism. So there was somebody that, um, that uh, was asking me about this here question i'm not sure if she's she's here on the live but um she was just kind of like in so many words in denial about some of the things you know that are created or she's creating in her physical reality and how can i say that those people are her you know and, and it was looking at it in a negative sense but i said i said to her you know why don't you think about it positively why don't you be empowered by yourself and see how powerful you really are? And you really are God and you're so cold with it that, that you don't can't even realize that you're creating this thing yourself. You're so cold and finessing this physical reality that you really sitting here thinking this stuff here is real. 
but you're creating every last thing through thought. From the person you get on the elevator with, from the person that you thought of and they hurry up and called you to things that not working out, you thought that up. From the cup that fell off the counter, just eat the simple things, the big things. You thought that up because even after some of these things happen in our physical reality, we'll say out loud, man, I knew that was going to happen right there. Oh, you knew, huh, God? <laughs> But sometimes in our physical reality, we want to, you know, just, just look at the good and like, mm, yeah, the good, good is God, but I don't know who the, where that bad come from. Even with death, you know, oh, that must've been the devil. Like, you know, even, even the so-called murder, so to speak, they're playing a role. <laughs> Everybody playing a role in, 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 in your reality. And if you, if you make peace with that and understand that. Oh man, you could understand that life life is the game and you only you only learning, you only winning and it's a beautiful place. But some people, just like I was saying how how we could go in different realities, some people here in the physical reality is going through hell really in their own mind, in their own reality. But then other people going through heaven. You know, life is life is what what they're making it through their thoughts, through their mental through their state of being, whatever stage they want to be in and whatever stage they want their reflections to be in. But if I were you, I would say put your reflections in a better stage so you could have, enjoy your journey. Enjoy your journey and don't get emotionally tied up to, to, to the things that is not going right, to holding those grudges because that's really the real sin. When you look at your reflections and you hate them and you say, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna forgive you, but I'm not going to forget. What would that mean though? Because if you don't forget, that means you're regurgitating it. You're still getting the acid build up in your body. So you're still experiencing dis-ease and disharmony in your body. And you're still killing yourselves. So at the end of the day, we really got to get real with ourselves and our so-called kingdom, our reflections, and act according. And so, some, so healing, deep healing could go on in your kingdom. How you got in the physical reality, nobody around you, you can see your, your passion. You know, your gift that you came to be, nobody to um, give to the your reflections. Nobody don't see see nothing from you, God. Nobody ain't getting healed in your kingdom. What, what's, what's going on with that? Nobody ain't getting no breakthroughs. All, all you know is, man, somebody else died. You, you, another wall coming. That's all you know. Oh, they got a hurricane in such and such place. All you know is the bad news. But what about what about the blessings? What about the miracles? That's supposed to be surround you because you are God. What about the greater works that you should do? And all of this ties into how you're believing other people to be in your reality and the beliefs that you have about yourself. Because everyone is you pushed out. So that's my little spiel. If y'all have questions, I just wanted to get that out first. Let me go back up and see what y'all talking about up in here. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Encourage your viewers to share your live and invite more friends. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't do that before. I did. I, I did. I, I asked about seven people. I think it was earlier today, but I should have did it before too. <laughs> hey, Keish, how you doing, babe? Let's see. Hey, who up to you? <laughs> That's a cool name. Let's see. The different stages of consciousness, definitely. Definitely, because some people in the physical reality, they say, you know, that they woke, but there's so many levels, you know, so many um, extensions, you know, like they say, the, the rabbit hole really runs deep, you know, so consciousness is not, I guess the first level, I don't want to say what it is not, because everybody, you know, is experienced themselves. Now, I guess the first level of it would just kind of like be aware, you know, maybe, but... For me, just to be totally honest, in the beginning, I really thought, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. I thought maybe, oh, consciousness must be about, you know, black people, yay, melanin, carbon, you know, because I'm black and, and you know, I explored that level, you know, with, I, I explored with like the Hebrew Israelites, but, but I encourage you, whatever level you on, to keep on going, keep on going until you know that you right here, do you know that you and the father are one? Because you're going to get a feeling your internal GPS is going to let you know when something don't resonate with you. And you spit that thing out because it's, you just, 
you know, like we came from religion. It's just like religion. You got to a place in religion where you was like, wait, hold up. I can't, I can't ask God why I can't do this. And you started questioning. So when you get to spirituality, question too. Question when you start going, trying out for the seven day of business and the tryouts for the Hebrew Israelite and the pumping your fists and black power. And, you know, so certain things just didn't sit well with me. So I kept going and I encourage you to keep going. Like, so when you, when, for me, like on a journey of dealing with the melanin and the carbon, and that's how, wow, and how I know so much about you know, health and wellness in, in black people and diets and all of this here because I was exploring. And so the Hebrew Israelite part of my journey, it was like, wait, hold up. So they, these people are on the corner and so now we're going to flip it. So because I because there was one black man, it, this really didn't sit with me. He was on the corner talking to white people saying, yeah, because all of the stuff that that y'all did to my people, we gonna do it to you, and we gonna rape y'all, y'all women, and, and and I was like, wait, wait, hold up, hold up here. Not that I was so holier than thou, but I was like, mm, this is what we about to do, we about to flip this thing like here, and so now we we gonna be they ass now, like, mm. and he, <laughs> you know, it's just certain things. If it don't resonate with you, spit that thing out, spit that thing out, and so. Okay, so these people are better than these people. Oh, okay. So wait, we've been doing this here over and over. So the so somebody gotta be the head, somebody gotta be a tail. Okay, so it's you know it's another season. Okay, I understand that. And and then I was looking into health and wellness and stuff and like okay, these are alkaline foods and and this is what I need to eat for my blood type. Okay, and then and then I studied throat and I'm like oh a throat and Jesus kind of oh throat and Jesus kind of like seem like the same same darn thing. Then you know, meditation and all, and Buddha and all. I'm like, oh, okay, be still and know that I'm God. And everything was really bringing me back to us, me being God and me experiencing myself. So I've come up and, and I begin to have experiences based upon all the things that I was going through. And then energetically, I, I, I got to a point where I felt so like, um, uh, uh, D disgusted and I don't really like that word but that's the one that came up disgusted with all of these different religions these different outside of me characters that I was like you know what let's think about this here energetically you know because I worked in the utility field and that really made a whole lot of sense to me I'm like okay the energy of the food oh my god and then the pH balance and Oh, okay, and electrifying and activating your body, and oh, okay, and 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 so when you meditate, you kind of activate. When you're eating right, you're activating. Okay, so and then you look at the dark matter and in the black hole, and you look at that as being, as being energy and the quantum physics. So I put all that together, and I begin to have my own experience, and I encourage you to have your own experience for yourself. And then when you get to you, what you call that aha moment when you put together, well, what is God to you? What is, what, is, what is spirituality to you and it makes sense to you and you, it resonates with you in your heart, that's where you go because how you feel matter. And maybe you want to be a Hebrew Israelite, but for me, I felt like that wasn't the end of the journey. For me, it, that I, I no, no, no. For me, it was just like, it got to be more than this here. It got to it got to be bigger than this here. It got to be this God, this, this source. I don't know because in, in the biblical text, and I was still holding on to some of my religious aspects in the biblical text, I always knew that God reigned on the just as well as the unjust. Not to say that, you know, I was so holy in it now, but that's what I learned to the core of me. I believe that. I believe that, you know, not to give no white people no power and, and don't and turn my, black, my back on the black people and all that, that. No, no, no. It just didn't resonate with my heart. Because I still, even in my spiritual journey, I still believe that love, I know love, love heals all. Love, love is the most powerful form of energy that there is. Love, love is what that is right there, that source that I'm talking about, the universe that I'm talking about. It is the most powerful form of energy that there is. And it, it, couldn't, it couldn't cross my mind that this source that I stem from <laughs> was just, was just, on one side was just a one-sided kind of source. It just didn't make no sense. And that's when I started searching, researching about laws, 
the laws of the universe, the laws of polarity. Oh, okay, now it makes sense. So everything is two-sided here. So there's illusion of separation here. Oh, now I get it. Now I get it all oh, is God when you roll it up and you put those two polarities together. Oh, I see what's going on here. So you want to go down your own rabbit hole and get your own experience to come to the conclusion that you're God. But that, that, that is the ultimate conclusion right there, that ye are gods and all of you are children of the, the most high of that source or came from that substance. We might look different, you know, we might have different experiences with our body and hair and our diets and all that, but you put all of that thing together and it's God. It wouldn't be able to see, you wouldn't be able to see it in the physical reality had it not been God. Because it all stemmed from that chaotic energy, that carbon, your carbon footprint, the darkness that was on the face of the deep in the beginning of the world, it all stemmed from that. You call it what you want, but that's where we all come from. The big bang, where we just didn't bang, then we here. <laughs> Whatever your theory is. Let's see. Different stages of consciousness, yeah. And so that's what we all are doing, having a different um, conscious state of being, you know, but it's a collective consciousness in the, in, at the end of the day. And so that's how we're connected to that collective consciousness. That's why we can do telepathic communication. That's why we can manip manipulate energy and other people's um, reality, so to speak, and have them conform to the way that we're thinking them to be. Whether we want to get the job, to think that they we're favorable with them for a job, whether we want to them to be healed, you could even heal people in through thought based upon your belief that's what jesus the christ conscious one was doing and greater work shall you do hi bb mommy's here hey <laughs> thank you for joining thank you yes thank you accountable for it all yes yes faith we should be accountable for it all accountable for it all the good bad and the so-called ugly uh oh there go them comments jumping up there yeah, that was beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I don't see this lady, this lady, um, Kilo. She had some questions, but if any of y'all have any questions, I'm here to answer. If you um, don't understand some of that, I'm here to answer any questions you have. If not, I'll end it early. I'll end it early if you all don't have any questions, but I really wanted to share about multiple realities and dimensions and how how it's almost like um when we're blinking our eyeballs we're going in and out the realm when we're taking a breath in and out realms when we sleep in our dreams this is why in our dreams sometimes we you know it's like um you'll be like man i was i had a strange dream you know i, I thought i was flying but then i was in i was in a boat and then i was in this other state and i don't know I was in the dream, then I was out the dream. You know, it just seems so crazy, so to speak. That's because you are multi-dimensional, jumping in and out of different realms. You could do that with meditation. You could do that um, because you, inside of you, have the dimethyltryptamine that allow you to go on a trip like this and experience the totality of who you are. Some people, you know, when they take certain drugs, certain medicine, even some people that take maybe and antidepressants or psychedelics or whatever they'll experience this but they'll think they're tripping so to speak even those people that's underneath the um bridge you know i don't know if everybody got people under their bridge but in new orleans we have like the homeless people that be underneath the bridge and so when you're getting off from work you could see them like under the bridge and and thinking that there's that there's that they are home and that they have like a front door and tile and a sofa and so to speak but it's really just a tent but they're in their own little dimension, so to speak, you know, they're in their own little universe. And some of those people get stuck in, I don't want to say stuck, will stay there or be warped in there, in that universe and simultaneously in this universe at the same time. It's like they be between the doors, so to, in the, you know, in a door frame, like from one reality to another reality. But God must experience all the totality of itself, you know, so it's no right or wrong way of doing it. Even though, you know, we have two sides and it, we'll say right or wrong. But guess what? The collect of the two sides or the left and the right, all of that stems up to God anyway. And so you got to experience that, that part of yourself, the physical form, before you can actually go in and realize all of it was God. And everybody was me pushed out. 
and the kingdom of God was always within me, within my subconscious mind, which within my thinking. And to get there, all I had to do was go inside of me. I didn't have to go to the, no doctor, no therapist. I didn't have to go to no church. I didn't have to go to my mom. I didn't have to go to no partner and find and look for love in all the wrong places because everything that I had was already inside of me. And now I am complete. Now me and the Father are one. Now that union with my subconscious and my superconscious has um, reunited and became one. And now I have endless love. I have endless joy. I can feel up on this here. I don't need nobody outside in the physical reality to feel me up on anything no more because I, I've made it. I'm home. The marriage, the union is right here. And so, so here, and to correlate this here to chakra pools of energy. So here, all of my chakra pools of energy are clear. And your chakra pools of energy that resonate inside of you are like energy portals and they correlate to organs in your body. So oftentimes those chakra pools of energy are clogged up because of that hate, because of that anger, because of that shame, because of that guilt, right? But when you get to this, you only have those experiences when you're here. But when you get here, it's like all of the chakra pools, the energy are clear now. Now you have that connection now back to your source again and it's so free flowing for you and you, you just love, you're just abundant in love and you're seeing people again through the eyes of God because you have those eyes again. Your first eye, some people call it a third eye, but it's really the first eye, the seed of your soul. And so your soul has been restored right here. <laughs> right here. This is where in the biblical text also that they talk about, um, I think it was, was it Jacob? I have seen God face to face and I have lived, you know, or, or it correlates rather to the pineal gland, right? So anyway, let me see. Let me see if they have some, um, some questions down here. Anything y'all trying to ask me? Your hair. Hey, Nubian. Thank you. Yeah, I just got my hair done today. I was just telling everybody I can't move my forehead. Because <laughs> it's so tight. <laughs> it's fear God too. Hey, queen. Um, in the biblical text, they say God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love and of power and a sound mind. Because the love and power and a sound mind is, is, is here. So fear will be of the opposite. So we have faith. And then you have the fear. So it's just, it's, it's, it's good. It's all is God vibrating at different frequencies. So it's kind of like the lowest version of yourself because at the highest version of yourself, you wouldn't have fear. You'll be empowered. And at the highest version of yourself, your DNA actually is being altered into this year of Christ conscious person. This is why in the biblical text, the first, um, miracle that this Jesus, the allegory text, Jesus, he turned water into wine. Because his frequency had changed, his blood, so to speak, you know, had been renewed. You know, they always talk about all oh, the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood that signed my name. Well, once you start vibrating at a higher frequency, so to speak, because you're resonating from the spirit of love and power, your DNA is actually altered. You know, and that that that's why nothing shall no by no means harm you. That's why you know you can speak to things now. You're you're empowered. So fear. Is you're going to be kind of like a sitting duck and you can look at the physical reality to see that because like the people that are in fear, you know, of maybe, uh, I guess like hurricanes and wars and you know, that people that sit there and watch the news and regurgitate, oh, you know, oh, you know, the, the, the crime is such and such and don't go down there. You know, they're operating at their lower self. They're still God. They're just operating at their lower self and they're not tapped into the full capacity of what God is. Because that's not something that God just, you know, that God looks, well, source energy looks at as empowering, as love. Let's see. What do you, wait, what is this? Poppy, what do you feel is the sole purpose of being able to go to other dimensions? <sighs> to experience oneself to exp God experiencing itself that's what I, I feel like because like to be honest with you, you you're never really getting this thing called life wrong so it's just you learning 
you learning and gathering up so-called information, so to speak, or data, so to speak, to give to God or give to source energy. And so our lifetime, let's look at our life. Like if my physical body or my avatar timed out, then I will give this here experience to source energy, God or creation, the universe. And what happened to the universe would be that it becomes greater and greater and multi, more multi-dimensional and, you know, keep expanding. And we, that's what we pretty much do. But my soul essence would always live on because I am from that nothingness, that, that dark energy, that melanin, that carbon, that beginning, you know, the darkness on the face of the deep. So that'll still live on my, my subconscious. I say, wait, what is the process? I need to get there. You're going to have to um, rewatch me um, on my YouTube channel. I said that part already. Let's see. Let's see. Somebody said, what is this? Black and, and deliberated. Let's see. Combo with Toxic X made me super sleepy. Tag in my Fabio. Dress made me itch. I had to cut off. Okay. I don't understand the five year old dress made me itch. I don't understand that, but a conversation making you super sleepy with an ex. I mean, you, you don't have to deal with speaking to those people in the physical reality. I'm really talking about graduating from the physical reality to go into the spiritual so you can see the X through your mind's eye as being the person or, you know, um, non-toxic like you want them to be by using your human imagination, God. And you don't have to deal with the physical reality of talking to them. Hey, you still toxic? Oh, let me answer the phone today and see if you're still toxic. I don't mean that. I mean, turning the cheek away from the toxicity that you might think exists in the physical reality and use the this here ability, this I instead is really what I'm saying. If that clears up what you're speaking of. Because getting sleepy and tired and drained, if you are here, you don't get drained because you're connected to source energy and you're always being poured down. I mean, you want to take the time away maybe to close your eyes and be sealed and remember that you're God or so-called meditate to kind of get this connection still free flowing. But I wouldn't allow somebody in the physical reality to drain me. Because another thing too, God, is when you allow people to emotionally move you. See, that's really key to your emotions, our emotions. When situations come in the physical reality and have you or make you do certain things or feel certain ways, then you're going to get that situation again in another um character and another avatar. You know, the ex might go away, yeah, but because you had beef or whatever you know because he drained you or whatever then maybe in your physical reality you have another situation with another man and then he'll drain you too because you're feeling emotions behind it you have to get we have to get to a place in our journey where we really know how to be seed and know that i am god and ask ourselves okay why am i experiencing this is there something inside of me that i am attracting that you know, makes me gravitate so much to people that drain me, you know, what is it about me? And that's really you doing your inner work to get to your higher state of being. Well, maybe, maybe I'm just a person that sits there and allow these people to, you know, call me with their problems. Maybe I'm, I'm not saying you, maybe I'm just getting walked over and used because mm, maybe I don't feel that worthy. Maybe I, maybe I feel like I have to do it. You know, maybe I wish that somebody would do these things to me. So I'm really just projecting the things that I want other people to do to me. I just want somebody to listen to me, you know? So you get, when we get to the core of that right there, when we get to the core of right, that right there, then we'll stop all these reflections from coming forth in our physical reality is doing the same darn thing. And that goes back to having an arc. You know, they have some people in physical reality that they have met like three and four and five of those people that they call these so-called narcs. And then I, I do consultations. Oh my goodness. I do consultations, consultations and um, 
I done lost track of what I was saying. My hip, my hip, my brain is so tight. <laughs> oh, I know. I do consultations and I've consulted with women. With women that, you know, had abusive relationships, like, right? And they then had like three and four. And I'm like, how you get so many? What do you, what do you think about getting so many? You know, what does that tell you? You know, what does that tell you about you when you could attract those people? So you got to go in and kind of understand yourself here. You know, like, mm, dang, I, I done had five narcs. Mm, I done been beat up, you know, by men multiple times. Mm, something, something. Come on now, I got to. I gotta do something here. I, it's not time for me to go jump into another, um, you know, relationship. I gotta, I gotta go in. It's time for me to go in because I don't want to keep experiencing this. And so, so when you get to that place where you're accountable, man, you become that God that you came for it to be. It's really a beautiful thing. It really is. Let me see. Did I miss something? <laughs> Like, I'm sure we are supposed to be in each other's lives, but emotions and mental make it impossible. Uh, actually, your thoughts, our thoughts, um, if you're talking about a specific person, I guess, I'm assuming you're talking about a specific person that you maybe want in your life, but the emotions making it hard. Well, um, you use the word impossible. Mm. That can that that right there can make it hard if we're saying it's impossible because that's that's a belief you know from the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh in the biblical text and so I was I've um I've learned in my journey that you know those those words are really really powerful and so we need to really be careful what we're saying careful what we're thinking because we're creating you know right now on a TikTok they have this um these two little trends that's going and one of them is about um the gas being so high you know this gas is so high you know people got to do all kind of crazy stuff and then there's another trend that's going where um it's like the camera is flashing and they're looking down on their best friend at their funeral and when i see that i'm like oh look at the gods look at the gods you know because not to say it's wrong god could do whatever he want to do in his kingdom in the reality they simulate an environment but what i am saying is that's how gods create you know through their spoken word and their thought now here the people thinking it's a joke on tiktok to be you know funny to um you know to say that their best friend is is, is you know is in a casket and you know and, they, they, and so you use your human imagination you go you live in the end when you want to create something this is what you do when you're trying to manifest so pretty much they're showing a scene on tiktok where they're living in the end where the friend is already in the casket and they're looking down on the friend and they're telling the friend something about the uh, ex or somebody that's there and something about they have the cell phone and i got you in, in it for for a like but that's god acting out this scene and then there's you know with the gas they're saying you know Hey, I, I ain't, I'm not going to have no money. I ain't going to have no money to afford this here case. Like, what? Were you not? Oh, really? I, I wouldn't do that, you know, because I wouldn't play with my words like that there. I wouldn't sit there and, you know, create the scene, create TikTok. You know, as a creator, you have to sit there and create those things. So you are creating and manifesting, so to speak. So, but then, then if somebody die, if their best friend died next week or so, Oh no, I ain't, I ain't do that because they don't know the superpower. If the gas prices still go up on them and now they can't afford it because they got, you know, laid off on the job or whatever and everything, the bridge of incidents so just starts to build for them not to be able to afford gas no more. Man, it must be the devil. Oh, what's going on? Just, you know, life ain't fair. No, God, you're creator. So I would say for you, the first thing is start to believe that you are and know that your words are powerful. And have a, a belief, a heightened belief about that other person. Because you could be, do, or have anything, God, when you put your mind to it. It's as simple as that. But see, this, this is another thing. Some people want to put their mind to it in meditation. Then get up and, and everything that they put their mind to. And if they, during the day, they walk around and this ain't going to work. I can see this ain't going to work. Or better yet, they'll put their mind to it during the day and during meditation. And then the next day, they fall off. And don't, they forgot that they was doing it. Because that that's just how... 
deeply rooted some of us are into our program and not being having the ability to focus and go in for the long haul because you you can't expect that one day that you think different but meanwhile maybe you're 40 50 60 years old and you've been thinking crazy thoughts for 60 years you know you can't expect to you know especially when you have so much re resistance going on with all of the years of negative thinking this got to be a thought that you're telling yourself over and over like oh yeah we're gonna be together oh this, this is a person for me i see this person changing already my belief of her is you know is that she is my best friend or whatever it is that you wanted from this particular person it's all start with you hey everything brick thank you for being here are you laughing at me with my with my braids my braids tight babe <laughs> love your lives and your pose much love and appreciation to you who is that oh hey i remember seeing your name pd pd cat one hey queen let's see hmm. let's see yes i was asking is mental health recognized in a spiritual world mental health all is mental so what part of mental health are you saying just like um debilitating kind of like um sickness so to speak because that that wouldn't exist right here because everything is perfect here all is god here so let's say manifesting yeah yeah queen Faith without corresponding actions is dead. Yeah, give me more information about that, um, Poppy. Um, mental health recognized in the spiritual world. All is all is mental, so that is the spiritual aspect. All of the, it is consciousness through thought that we're creating. But if it's something about dealing with pertaining to rather um a sickness or disease or whatever. No, because you, you're looking through the eyes of God and God is looking at everything, everyone is perfect, a perfect creation, you know, and just like, um, so people that chose to come forth in their avatar may be retarded, you know, maybe, um, not too pleasing to the eye, but it's still perfect. It's still a perfect expression of God experiencing itself. You know, I, I look at those people because we do pick our family we do pick our avatar it's just like you know being on a game a simulated game here in the in this matrix where you know you pick your car you pick your little scenery and you pick your avatar so i look at those people and to me i i just look at them and and i'm like wow that's a beautiful thing to come forth and express yourself like that that's a bold thing you know that's you know impressive to come forth in the world that you knew that was chaotic, in the world that you knew that had, you know, two sides, polarities, where the people could decide to be ugly to you, people, people could decide to treat you some kind of way, but you still chose to come forth in that particular avatar just to experience yourself. <laughs> just to experience yourself and to experience what it is, you know, the love of God. Because those, those people, they, they're not cut off. They're not cut off. It's God expressing itself. And God expresses itself at any frequency that it chooses to. And so I, th I think that's a beautiful self-expression of God. Beautiful. And even, even, even the people that later, you know, develop like Alzheimer's and, in um, dimension, dim dementia, however you say that word, when they, when they forget their family. Anyway, those people there still expressing themselves, still, still God still choosing, choosing not to remember no more. Choosing to clear out the old. Choosing to just revert back to being a child again. And you, and you gotta re just respect people in their reality for what they're choosing to do because everybody is choosing true thought. You know? And, it's, and you look at it, if you're looking at them through the eyes of God, you, you know that it's still beautiful. You know that they're never gonna get it wrong. You know that they still have the breath of life inside of them. And in them, God is still their being. <laughs> and him i live i breathe and i have my being it's still god but we could we sometimes we'll judge those people we'll look at those people you know on tiktok some people some of our reflections look at those people and, and go hard on them people but you gotta be you gotta get to a place you god 
better here. You got to get to a place where you learn how to be easy with yourself because that is yourself that you're being hard on. That is you at a different version of yourself. Had, had it not been you, you would not have experienced it in your physical reality. It wouldn't have came forth. So be easy with yourself because when you hold on them, you hold on yourself. You think you're doing something that's funny, but you're killing yourself at the same time. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, these comments just jumped on me. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to go back up. Wait, I think mental is recognized as good or bad in the spirit. It's the way you project it. You think mental is is recognized as good or bad in the spirit? Because everything, everybody looks at things differently. Okay, so like, say for example, uh, shadow people, like black, dark energy. Like, remember in a, in a, in a movie, what, what was that? Whoopi Goldberg played some movie where, was it called Ghost? Ghost, I think it's called. Anyway, she played as the, um, she was like a, a psychic reader or whatever. Anyway, there was a part in the movie where somebody was dying and you could see these big black shadows that were being peeled off of the ground to come and get this person who was dying because I guess he was supposed to be going to hell, these black shadows, so to speak. Well, I say that because in my journey, I dreamt of those shadows before. And other people would think, based upon where they are, that that was like maybe the devil. That that was like dark energy. That that was bad, based upon their mental. But these shadows that I saw or, or and experienced were actually versions of myself. If, if, if I were to put it into layman's terms, I would, I feel so confident in, in believing and knowing that this was like some type of Anunnaki type energy visit, visiting me because they was trying to give me some information, which I'm not going to share all of that on this gold stroll that they unfolded in front of me. Now, if I, in my mental, was still on the devil journey, on a religion journey, I probably would have freaked out in that particular dream because I would have thought maybe I'm going to die. Maybe that was the devil. And it also correlates to the energy that this, me being calm, the energy that was exuding from these dark giants that were before me to talk to me as if they knew me. You see, so, so my mental, based upon where my mental is, is what, what I'm going to have experienced outside of me. Just like when people have near death experiences per, per se, if they in religion and they believe it in the Jesus, Jesus going to show up. If they're in, in, based upon their mental in the Buddha, they're going to see a heavy set man underneath the tree to show up. It's based upon your mental, where you are and what you look at as this so-called good and, and bad, but all is God. And so it, it just, it depends really on the person is what I'm saying here. Cause I, what was, was heavenly to me might be wicked to you. You know, what, what seems like heaven, you know, what seems like a relaxing day to me might be boring to you because you have your own experience and you get to choose that. So I don't, I don't, I don't really look at it as bad. Cause I didn't, I didn't been through that. I don't, I don't look at that bad stuff no more. I look at the learning and the winning. I've been through that already where I've, I've, where I've dealt with crystals, where I dealt with other supposedly energies, you know, where I, cause I, like I said, I explored everything on my journey where, where I used the cards at one point in my journey where I had the altar, you know, you know, I did all of that. So bad i've concluded that all is god all is god even after going through the so-called darkness 
What, what we're really supposed to be doing is, is being able to see in the darkness. And that's what we're really supposed to be doing and realize, oh, okay, this darkness is what I am. The energy that really controls this world is the most powerful form of energy that it is. And it, it ain't bad. It ain't trying to help, hurt you. He ain't trying to do bad to you. You do the some supposedly bad on yourself when you on this here side in the physical reality with them thoughts. When you house into this here side of you, those limited beliefs. When you're in the physical reality and you're sitting there and you're watching a little nightmare on Elm Street kind of stuff and now you're fearful. When you're watching the news and now you're you afraid of death and all of this here. When you're hating on somebody, you you house all that in your mind. Yeah, that, that's, 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 the, that's the, the so-called negative or the bad that you created for yourself. And that you one day gonna have to go into your closet, open up that door and get all of them skeletons that you created, that you put up in there, purge them and deal with yourself. And you, the, there's this, this movie, the, um, I think it's called Us, that, that really shines light on this. Where they had the little doppelgangers or whatever, the reflections, it was like a black family that realized that they had a reflective family. And so, and each member of the family had a reflection of themselves. But the beautiful part of that in that movie is when they realized that it was the reflection. So when I move, the reflection had to move. And so that's when they were able to get leverage of, of their whole identity. It was like, it's almost like you standing in the mirror looking at yourself. When you move, your reflection has to move. So... Everyone is you pushed out. So that so-called mental that's looking bad is your thoughts standing in front of you, looking at you saying, hey, I'm in here. When are you going to deal with me? Okay. I'm there now. Yeah, good, queen. That's a beautiful place to be. Let's see. Poppy says, I love how you say God a lot. A lot of people only say the universe. Yeah, yeah. Well, I come up in church, so in my mom here too. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I, I believe in God, a so the source. I call it sometimes maybe the source, God, the universe, or other people could understand the, um, the most powerful form of energy of love. All of that is just referencing the same thing to me. And I just don't believe that it is a, a man in physical form, though. That's just, you know, how in religion they say the man upstairs. I don't believe in that, though. I believe it's a, a force, an energy, power. But, yeah. Yeah. It's God. All is God. Kind of like Will Smith. Yeah, on Hancock. Exactly. Yeah. I recognize dark to make way for the light. That's that's it right there. I think I'm a shower worker. Okay, okay. Cool. You finding that purpose over there. I see that. Yeah, it scared me as a kid. <laughs> ghosts. Okay, that was talking about the ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. And so some people looked at that as scary, but I was like, oh. That that reminds me of the people that came to visit me before in my dream even a little green little scientist looking energies you know we all have and that's in my reality now y'all might not ever experience no giant black energies no little green scientist looking people you know based upon your thoughts based upon your experiences what's going on in your mind like i said when when our body you know near-death experience come Everybody going to have their different story based upon what's going on in here. Because we have our own little kingdom going on in here. This is why so many people in the conscious community or in religion or whatever always debating or whatever. Because everybody has their own perspective of, you know, what God is and how they're going to experience God. And don't take that from those people. Let people vibrate on whatever frequency that they are. They're vibrating that. And you just share your experiences. The people that's... That's kind of like your tribe or whatever. They're going to gravitate to you. And you'll be able to talk to them and help them on the journey. And then y'all go y'all separate ways. And and then you become the um, the the teacher, you know. Or the um, get another group of people, whatever. 
But here's the thing. If they are not, if a teacher is not teaching you to go back to you, mm, that was that that could be a hindrance for your growth. If religion is not telling you to go back to you, if leaders just want you to just follow them all the time, even in the biblical text, there was an allegory, you know, parable about that, you know, that Jesus had to go away, you know, that the disciples, you know, had to, had to become the fishers of men. It's always about leading you back to you because the kingdom of God is within you. And, you know, so, so on, you know, even on my, doing my consultations, you know, they have people that be wanting to be mentored and, you know, and I'm all for helping my reflections, you know, just from my experiences that I go through. But no, no, you got to do your thing because you God too in your reality. I jump in your little reality from time to time, from a, a TikTok, from a consultation, from my, my, you know, courses online or whatever. But no, you got to be the doer here because I, I want to see your light shine too. You know, we all collectively the body of Christ. So let's see. Let's see if they got something else here. If you know that they are speaking on what you call God, that's okay as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because see, I understand it. And even when people talk about Jesus, you know, like, I understand that. You know, I just smile. You know, you let people go through. Everybody, everything's perfect. Because see, when you're here, you look at everything, everything through the eyes of God. Everything's perfect. So, oh, okay, Jesus. I know what you mean by Jesus. You're looking at, you're still maybe in religion. And you're reverencing the Jesus. But, and I just secretly in my mind, because I'm blessing the people in my um, environment, my reality. I'm saying in my mind, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to find out that he's Jesus. He's the Christ. He's the anointed one. Mm -hmm. And I could just envision him or her on that day. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be so beautiful when he realized that biblical text was about him. Mm -hmm. The Yeah. His chakra proves of energy, him rising to his highest self. It was all about him. Mm -hmm. Him, his blood being purged. Mm -hmm. Turning water into wine. Him, him being at his lower self and one day wanting to give up and on God <laughs> and saying though he though he slay me yet will I trust him oh 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 he was Job he was he was a dry bones and oh he he getting life back blown into him so that he may live you know he was the atom he was the the first little carbon the, that dark matter oh all the way until he became the Christ conscious one he was the nothingness oh it was him oh he was him can't wait for him to see it so you see where people are on their journey, you let them be. You let them be knowing that they're learning and they're winning too. These, you know, everybody just at different places. Okay. You have courses. I have a transformation course from all of the things that I've um, been through on my website at www.saltoftheearthpub.org. It's about, um, it's a lot of how-to transformation um, courses. It's about diet how to grocery shop how to meditate how to attract people in your physical reality it's about i believe it's about 10 or 11 um how to videos that i i did just hands-on things because i wanted to record my journey you know because i knew i was serious about my journey even though when you know even when people in my physical reality just thought i was crazy including <laughs> including my children you know because i as a mother, I wanted them to learn what health and wellness was. I wanted them to know something outside of religion and all. So I kind of recorded it and it's available on my website and all the herbs and everything that I did research in and all the things that I um, was going through is in my book on my website as well. Um, and I offer consultations, all of that's available on my website just to help my reflections because I was really intense about my journey because it, it was at one point in my life where I was holding on to some anger, some hate in my heart. And I didn't know that everyone was me pushed out. I didn't see through no eyes and no God. I thought life was just being unfair and it was choosing to be unfair with me, you know? And so I cried out to God in my mind and in my voice 
And I asked, why me? And that's why I often say that God never asks yourself a question that he is you don't already know the answer to. And when I asked why me, it was presented before me. And I went on a journey. And a journey that changed my life, changed who I was. I'm not the same person that I used to be based upon my experiences. Not because somebody else told me I need to be this way. Somebody told me I needed to believe this way. I tossed out that old program that was embedded into me and that was projected on me. And I rewrote my whole story, my whole belief system, the way that I want to think the way that I want to see the world, the way that I want to experience the world. And I suggest you empower yourself and do the same thing for yourself because it makes no sense to come forth in the physical reality and not experience the totality in your superpowers and all that you can do because we really can be, do, and have anything. And I, I often do these, um, you know, videos in my YouTube channel and I'm not, I promise you, I'm not here for likes at all. I really could care less about those things. I just want to be in a position to help other people. And also, I'm a mother in this physical reality. I want to leave these things behind for my children because I, um, you know, I tell them in the physical reality that they're God. And I want them to know, like, if anything were to ever happen to me, they have this whole history of information that they can look back at mama and see mama thoughts and see how mama got out of these situations and see how to tap in. You know, because sometimes the children, you know, when they're young, they just want to, you know, do their thing. And, you know, you got to respectfully allow them to have their journey. And so with that in mind, okay, you go, you, you, children probably deviate, you know, just like the prodigal son, they'll deviate and they'll walk away from home, but they always come back, baby. They always come back to that first love. And so when they come back, I want, if I'm not here in the physical reality, or if, if they have something that, I, that they didn't get when I was here in the physical reality, I like to leave a trail for them, for them to have. So really, this is me. That's why I always say at the end of my videos, this video is from my heart to yours. Because not only is it talking to my reflections, but it's talking to my children, my nieces, you know. Everybody that I love, including you all. Because they're all of you all are me, you know. And so, I just leave my little nuggets when I can. <laughs> yes, yeah, see. Yes, see. Okay, so go back. What? Sam, go back and look at it. It was the worst graphics ever. Oh, they talking to each other. I'm sorry. If you know they're speaking on what you call God, that's okay. Oh, I read that one. Yeah, I have courses. Let me see. I'm definitely looking for a mentor. Yeah, so many. This is like the fourth person that told me. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. This is about the fourth person that told me about mentors. I'm going to probably look into that because, you know, when, when something comes to me, you know, three times like that, I, I feel like that's, you know, my way of getting my attention. So, you my reflection, so you're getting my attention to look into that. So, I will. I, I just do a lot of um, consultations right now because they have a lot of people, you know, and all of my consultations are my reflection. So, it's like people that call me, you know, they're like a reflection of me of when I was, oh, I was, I went through that. So I know exactly what to tell you that this is really going to bless you. And I really love that. I really love being in a position to help people. Like, oh, wait, let me tell y'all this. And then I'm going to end it because I, am I over? Oh, I'm 19 minutes over. I got to wrap it up. Yesterday, I went to the grocery store. I was at Walmart and they had this black man. And let me tell you, this is so cool. Now, this is another example of how we jump in and out of reality. They had this black man that came up in there. And I was on the inn, you know, where they have the, the, um, the, um, produce and stuff in the beginning, but I was on the inn, like kind of right by the door and I'm grabbing me some cilantro and I turned around, I made eye contact with this black man that was walking up in the store and I was like, you have a cool walk. And he's like, thank you. And he, but he was looking sad though. And so he's like, thank you. And he's like, Hey, um, Queen, you think you could help me get something to eat today? And I was like, yeah, what you want? And he was like, I just want like a frozen dinner and, and maybe um, a bag of potato chips. Um, you know, I'm kind of down or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I would love to go get it. And, I, and so we talked or whatever. 
And I was able to encourage him and I was telling him, you know, that he's God in the physical reality. And I was like, see, just how you met me, you know, that's how you manipulating energy. You know, you met me purposeful. Like I was into my cilantro and you called me for it to come and help you with a meal because you, you knew you didn't have no money to get this meal or whatever. Anyway, I was encouraging him and I just feel really good when I could help people on my journey because, you know, I am... I was once here in the physical reality where I wasn't a helper. You see, even me, I have to experience the totality of me where I wasn't a helper, where I wasn't just this, this giving person. I was like, ah, ah, no, ah, who are you? No, leave me alone or whatever. But now I'm in a different place in my journey. Like, yeah, of course, I, I want to help you. I want to experience God in this way. So just be mindful of that. Be mindful of that in your journey when it's time to, you know, help other people. And, you know, and also for people that's, you know, coming for not, not that I'm asking for anything from anybody out in the physical reality, because I, I have, I know how to get mine, but be, be mindful of when people are pouring into you, you know, you know, be mindful of that take, take, take energy. Like, you know, because I had to learn this in my journey, that take, take, take energy. I'm going to sit here. I'm just going to soak it up. I'm going to soak up everything, but don't want to give back in return. Because so it should be an even exchange. You want to be balanced in, 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 in your way. And it don't have necessarily have to be money. If, if you don't have, you could give in other ways. You could give like sharing people's, you know, um, lives or whatever. You can give by, you know, liking a video or whatever. You can give by saying you inspired me or commenting or something like that you know make sure your intentions appear in your heart for you for your journey is all i'm saying for you the ease of your heart and your well-being because all of that matters you know a lot of people in the comment sometimes well a few people rather in the comment they'll come and they'll were over reflections of me and this is why i know to tell you They'll come and they just want to, they want to ask all of the questions so they won't have to book a consultation. And I get it. I feel the energy. I understand it because it used to be me, but I've evolved and not, I'm saying this out of love. I'm not saying this for you to book no consultation, but be mindful of when you just take and take and take and, and not give him back. And you don't necessarily have to give back to me. Give back to somebody that's on the on the corner that's at, at the red light. Don't worry about if he look like he be there every day. You need to make sure that flow of energy go and not be stagnated in you. And I'm telling you this out of love for you. Because I do it out of love for you. Make sure you're giving. Make sure the energy is flowing and you're not being stagnated because you are energy, frequency, and vibration. I don't care what religion you are. It's going to bring you back to that. You are energy, frequency, and vibration. You stagnate that energy if you want to and create this ease and disharmony in yourself. And you're going to regret that. You're going to stumble your growth when you're supposed to be getting to here. You're going to be sitting here asking why for a little longer duration of time. Learn how to give. Learn how to bless people. Even if it's just mentally. You know, even if it's you don't have no money and whatever. And you don't want to give to nobody and support nobody in the physical reality. Just go within and send blessings to people mentally. Use your superpower to bless people. You see somebody that's on in a wheelchair, see them whole again. You know, you see somebody that, that maybe don't have no money and maybe you don't have the money either. See them prosperous again. You see somebody and maybe you single and, and they're single, but they're crying about single, being single and they're really desperate. See them with a partner before you see yourself with one. Just see them through love. See them through the eyes of God. That's when you win. That's when you win. And that's when it's easy to get here. Love heals all. And that heart chakra is the most powerful form of energy there is. And it can clog or unclog any other chakra pool of energy in your body. And make you whole. And make, make you one with God or source energy all over again. And don't forget that. I'm telling you that out of love. I'm not telling you that because I want anything from you, baby. I don't. Okay. Hello. Hey, Kilo. How you doing, babe? Hey, brown skin. I've been thinking about you. Hope all is well. Oh, y'all talking to each other. Okay, yeah. Hey, Sam. Thank you for joining. Oh, thank y'all for being here. So I don't see any more. Press down, shake it together, and run it over. That's from church right now, Queen. I don't see um 22 BB. Who are you doing? Is she telling me that I'm 22 minutes over? I see you, ma. <laughs> okay. Looking to start a business, so I need... 
a certification or something to show I did the work. Yeah, work on you. Work on um, getting your, your business started. Get it started in here. You got this. You got this. Okay, I don't like to go over because I like to be in doing things in decency and in order and, you know, punctual as I can. But that's all that I have tonight. This video was from my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed. And use them superpowers, baby. Bye.